Hi, this is Sean Knotts with West Virginia Land and Home Realty. I'm standing here on a listing that's lots five and six of Deerfield Highlands, um, which is off of Proctor Road within the subdivision. Um, just want to give you a little uh, video here of the property. Um, so when you come down in here, I'll go over here behind my truck, you'll see where the the driveway kind of comes down the down the hill here from the subdivision road a little bit. And when you get down here to the bottom, you've got this nice little rustic cabin down here. Now there's no there's no power down here currently. There's no you know well or septic or anything like that. It's pretty much fully off grid at this point. Um, I just wanted to show you around here a little bit. So I don't know if you can see, but right up there at the top of this hill here is the subdivision road and there's power right there um, I don't know if you can see the lines in the video or not but uh, so it'd be real easy to just you know tie if you wanted power here in the cabin you could tie in right up there at the subdivision road and bring it down over the hill and you'd be right here so it'd be very minimal expense to get power to the cabin um, plenty of room here for a septic and a well so this area down through here is spring fed um you can see the cattails and everything in here it you know be a great place for a pond as a matter of fact the neighbor down here he has a couple ponds you can see off there in the distance so the property line comes down here kind of down the road there down the down the lane and it cuts across here and i don't know the exact location here but I'm thinking it's probably somewhere right around this this tree or maybe just a little bit right of it and then it goes up the ridge and then right over there on the other side of the little run in here there's a logging road that runs up this side of this hill here and then up that hollow there's a big steep hollow that runs up in there and that's one of the areas that feeds the the stream down here when you get up in there, I mean, it gets pretty steep, but it does have a road that you can get up in there, you know, to the head of the holla and at least get back onto the property. And then from there, you got a little bit of a climb to get up to the top. But um, if you got up here on top of this ridge, you'd have some really incredible views from up there. Uh, you know, it'd just be a matter of, you know, trying to get your driveway, the start of it up through here and then turn it and get it up on the ridge. But, you know, it'd probably have some steepness to it. But uh, if you wanted potential big views, that would that would definitely provide that for you. Or you could just stay down here and use this cabin. And you know, it's a good start. It's a place to keep dry and warm in the winter, and you know, have have the use of your ground here. Uh, not sure what this is. Uh, you know, the previous the the current owners, it was like this when they bought it. I'm assuming it was the start of a you know a little shed or something that they had someone had started here on the property. Um, but I wanted to walk you over here. Now we're, we've been in the middle of a drought here. I mean, we haven't had rain in months, any kind of significant rain, especially a couple of thunderstorms here and there, but this must be a really good spring because I don't know if you can see it here, but I mean, there's water flowing now, which I've been on a lot of properties here in the last month where you would typically expect to see a stream and everything's completely dried up. So, um, that's a really nice surprise to see water in there right now um that tells me that it's a really good spring that's feeding it and uh you know you should be good all year round because if it's got water in there now as dry as it's been you're never going to have to worry about not having water here in front of the cabin um so but yeah this is a nice piece of property it's it's tucked up here in the mountains uh it's in a subdivision here but you can surely hunt and you know to have enjoy all different sorts of recreation here on the property um yeah and this i'm not really sure of the history of this place but you know the one section of it here looks to be pretty old um and then they've added on a couple places uh the ceilings in here are a little low you know what you typically see in a lot of these older places but um it's got three rooms down here one over there one here and then one in the back and uh you know, it's got some pretty nice rough sawn lumber. The floor in here is all rough sawn lumber. And then over here, you go up a uh, set of stairs. Takes you up into a little loft area up here. 
So it'd be great for a little hunting camp, a little getaway. Um, you know, someone clean this place up and, and uh, you know, you could either pull in power or set up a generator or do solar and got a nice spring fed uh, stream there for water and put yourself in that house and you could be off grid pretty easily here. Um, so that's about all I can tell you for now. If you have any questions about the property, Feel free to give me a call. Um, come out here and take a look. Thanks.